guys, it's Setsumi, and I'm coming to you with a brand new episode of Why I Love This Card. This week, I'm talking about the Calculator. Now, this guy, um, he's not that well-known of a card. Uh, I believe he's a, a bit of an older card. I think he's at least a couple years old. I'm not quite sure how old, honestly, but um, he's been around for quite a bit. And uh, he's a very, very simple card. Uh, if you don't know what he does, he's a level 2 light thunder type monster. And with a question mark as an attack and zero defense. Uh, this card's attack is equal to the combined levels of all monsters you control times 300. So, this is pretty interesting. Um, notably, this card is used a lot in trap decks, um, just simply because a lot of the monsters have rather high levels, they're easy to get out, and suddenly uh, it becomes a very big beater on your opponent's turn when you flip summon, let's say, like, uh, five, like, like three different uh, trap monsters. And such as the Rock Statue, which is a level 7, bringing this up to 2,700 beater. Uh, because his level does count towards his own attack. Uh, so he's, so yeah, that's he's mostly uses that just because Trap Monsters need a uh, bigger power play in terms of a monster that can become pretty big pretty fast. Uh, practical uses in today's Dax meta. Uh, it works very, very well with Gores. Gores um, sums out a... Uh, uh, a token that is level 7 and he's also level 7 himself so if you special summon uh, gores on your opponent's turn when they attack directly you then have 14 levels you summon the calculator and uh, you then have a 16 levels and his attack becomes 4800 uh, that is quite ridiculous for a level 2 monster I already went over trap monsters next is despots uh, we're getting we're slowly getting more and more support for despots uh, and they're slowly becoming uh, more they have more and more options coming to them so that's very very interesting in the fact that they will become a pendulum based deck so that's always awesome um, de uh, the calculator works very very well with these guys well he might not be searchable um, they have a wide range of levels and they have a wide range of high level monsters half of them are over the are over level five so uh, the calculator and they're not particularly like that difficult to get out either mainly because it is a pendulum deck so the calculator is not a bad card to uh think about playing for it um next is infernoids uh i would not recommend playing it with infernoids you can mainly because again with the range of levels and that applies to also cosmos um would i i would not play them with either of them i just think it would be an interesting card and like would throw people for a loop if you did play the calculator with either of these i mean imagine throwing out the uh, Cosmo Dark Destroyer, and then the Calculator back-to-back, -back, suddenly you have two, 3,000 beaters on the field uh, to, for your opponent to deal with. So it's an interesting uh, combo right there. Not necessarily a combo, just an in interesting relationship. Uh, same with Infernoids. They have a huge, huge range of monsters. Um, as you can see, uh, Deviati here as a level 9. Which would bring this up to a 3300 beater if you so chose to uh, use it that way. Uh, again, another not another uh, deck I would recommend it necessarily, just because uh, Infernoids like to play only Infernoids and a little bit of Light Sworn. So um, yeah. Uh, next one that would be interesting is Heretics. Heretics uh, are a lot of high levels. They're at least level six, all the way up to like level ten or something. So or, or uh, safe to say level eight. Uh, they are known for tributing uh, and special summoning themselves, so it's not the best deck to use it for, just because you want to save your normal summon um, for the heretic monsters themselves, rather than using it for a level two monster that might not that might necessarily not get what it wants, uh, might not get to uh, the attack that you really want it to be, but nonetheless, it's a pretty interesting combination. Uh, Hazy Flames. These this is a uh, rank six deck. I have done a deck profile on these guys. Uh, it's very, very easy to span the field with level 6 monsters, considering the fact that they are at least 1,900 attack, the majority of, of them, uh, anyway. And if you get a couple of them out, especially through um, Periton, um, the calculator becomes very, very dangerous. And the fact that you then have, like, for example, three level 6 monsters, they all have roughly 2,000 attack points each. And you also have a monster that has, that, that's 20 levels total if you also have the calculator on the field. Um, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's a ridiculous amount that goes up to 6,000 attacks. So, 
Uh, interesting. However, I think the most applicable use for the calculator has to be with ki uh, Kaijus. Uh, the Kaijus just got a bunch of support recently, and the fact that I say that it's most applicable is because, one, they are all at least level 7. Uh, they're either level 7 or level 8. And um, it, they all special summon, so you don't waste your normal summon on the calculator at all. It's It becomes very useful. And specifically, it becomes a big OTK-oriented deck, especially when you throw in Radiant, who was just released today. Um, uh, if you don't know what this guy does, is that you can special summon him by tributing to your opponent's side of the field in attack position. That's normal kaiju thing, and you can also special summon him if your opponent controls a kaiju monster. Um, you can only control one kaiju monster, which is whatever. Uh, and then once per turn, you can remove two kaiju counters from anywhere on the field. Special summon one radiant token uh, that is level 7 with 2800 attack, uh, but it can't be used for synchro material, which you really don't care about. Uh, if you get two, if you get a Radiant on the field and then you special summon a token, um, you then have two level 7 monsters, 2800 attack, normal summon calculator, uh, that's 5600 between the two Kaijus, uh, Radiant Kaijus, uh, whatever, uh, and calculator gets uh, two more levels, so it's 16 levels total on the field, making him with 4800 attack, plus the 56 you have already, that's over 9000 right there. So, right there, um, you have an OTK. So, honestly, I feel like the calculator, in all honesty, is the best app applied to uh, Kaijus. So, it'll be interesting to see if it actually does get played. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this episode of Why I Love This Card. Be sure to remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. As always, guys, have a nice day.